Hello everyone, welcome to your YouTube channel All About Gate where we talk about the gate exam and admission through the gate exam. In this video, I have come up with a new program launched at IIT Bombay, MS by Research in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. Yes, you heard me right, an exclusive center for machine intelligence and data science was introduced at IIT Bombay in 2020 by the name CMINES. So that center has been offering minor in artificial intelligence and one of the interdisciplinary dual degree program to the IIT Bombay pursuing graduates. This year the center have launched two exclusive academic programs. One is the MS by research and the other is PhD. So this video we are going to discuss what this program is all about, for whom it is, what is the eligibility criteria and what is the admission procedure the written test, its syllabus, etc. So if you want to compare this program with some other program, I can say it is really similar to MS by Research in Computer Science and Engineering, which was introduced in IIT Bombay two years ago. So it very much runs on the same lines where the MS by Research in CSE run. So the admission is taken in two categories, teaching assistantship, which is funded by the institute, and the other is research assistantship through project where the student is going to work under the project of some faculty, R&D project of some faculty, and that project will fund the stipend of the student. So there are two categories available. The duration of the program is 1.5 to 3 years. It's a flexible duration. If you just want to understand what does it actually mean, I would say please go to the video given right here, which I did about MS by Research, which also have the similar flexible duration. Since I said it has TA and the RAP category, so the number of seats in TA category is given as 20 by the institute and you we all understand that the RAP seats are never fixed. They are dependent and always available as per the availability under the R&D projects running. So the seats in the RAP will be declared on the website of the CMIs later on. Now, those who take admission into this program are going to get that degree by the name MS by Research in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. Here I want to mention one thing that this program is a mix of breadth courses which are fundamental courses required for understanding of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Also the application specific courses. Now you will see what is application specific courses. As you see, all the conventional disciplines are in some or the other way application for the AI and ML. So the courses which are required to understand and solve the application of conventional disciplines are also included in this program. So you will understand the fundamental courses which are must and mandatory requirement to understand AI and ML like probability, calculus, linear algebra, optimization, etc. Similarly, you will also have the specialization subjects. So it is, a, it is up to the choice of a student that they want to go for any specialization for the conventional discipline. Suppose someone is from civil background and they want to do uh, their specialization in infrastructure engineering, right? Some, suppose somebody is from, you know, biology background or you say science background, they want to do in the health and the biology. So such courses are also included. So someone can take the degree in the specific domain or someone can you know just opt for a general degree. So this degree is an opportunity for all the interdisciplinary departments to take participate into. So the students are invited from all the engineering branches. It's not only for the computer science, it's not only for the electronics, it's not only for computer science and electronics, rather it is for the all the engineering disciplines. Now let's look at the eligibility criteria for this program. A student who have graduated either the BE, BTEC or AM or any of the equivalent in any engineering discipline. So this is a very, very, very important factor that it is not taking any specific one. It is saying any engineering. So that makes this center exclusively interdisciplinary center. Or so someone who is from engineering background, from any of the engineering background can apply. Someone from the MSc or equivalent in any science can also apply. So it is taking engineering students, it is taking the science background students, also it is taking the MCA with physics and maths at the BSc level or equivalent degree. So all these various sector students are eligible to apply for this program. In addition to that, 
they need to have a gate score which is supposed to be valid gate score in any discipline so you can write gate exam in any discipline you should have the valid gate score accordingly the cutoff will be set up and you should cross that cutoff to be part of it in order to get shortlisted and then furthermore you have to go through the written test and the interview rounds so this becomes eligibility so anyone who puts up the comment in the comment section ma'am i'm from this background i'm from that i'm a, i'm from that please come here and see that i have given all the detailed requirement for the eligibility so after understanding the eligibility criteria let's understand the selection procedure which is very important everyone wants to know about that once you get shortlisted based on the gate score you are supposed to appear for the written test followed by the interview so they have mentioned that there is going to be a written test on 2nd of May. It is going to be an online test. So you have to have everything with you in order to appear for this test. They have said it's going to be a two hour test, uh, which is going to be on the objective type question. So multiple choice questions are going to be asked, likely to be 28 questions. Interview dates are 3rd to 12th May. So you might get short list, um, you know, you might get lined up on any of the day. You need to be prepared for that right which they have not mentioned is going to be online or offline but it is more likely to be an online interview also i want to mention written test for ms by research and cse is also on 2nd may so uh, you have to be prepared to be sitting there uh, and giving the test one after the another so for that just be prepared now the syllabus most importantly the 28 questions are going to be asked from the foundational section so as i mentioned that this is a course or a program which offers multiple courses which is mix of foundational courses and the application specific courses so when it comes to foundational courses that means the courses which are the mandatory and the required uh, subjects for pursuing something in the artificial intelligence in the machine learning and in the field of data science which makes up Calculus, linear algebra, probability, and algorithms, the mandatory subjects. So these are the four subjects from where your 28 questions are going to be asked. Now on the CMIMS website, they have put up a complete PDF about how the online test is going to be like. It's about the admission procedure. So they have mentioned the subtopics under these four subjects and also they have mentioned the resources, the textbook, the web links, from where you are likely to study or which will help for you to preparing for these subjects. So I would say go there, download it, go to the respective books, get the books on your system and start reading the chapters one by one because there is no such much uh, time period left over. Today is almost like once this video reaches to it's going to be 20th April most likely. And uh, I mean, these subjects I'm putting up here in this video because today it says like 18th April, this have got updated on their website and same day I have got it. And I don't know when it's going to reach to you, I think in a gap of one or two days. So you hardly have 10 days with you, right? So in those 10 days, you really have to make a good strategy. And if you have ever followed any of the video on this channel, you must have seen either for the JEST exam or for the CMI or for ISI, I have always mentioned the importance of these four subjects for ISC Bangalore, for anything in the higher studies and also for anything which is specific to data science, AI and ML, you cannot ignore these four subjects. So I hope because they have been part of the gate exam also. And I have always said after the gate exam, if you want to clear anything in the further rounds, you need to go through these subjects. You will be always just on the rounds of these subjects. So prepare them well. This is going to be helpful not only for this test, rather for each and every exam that you're going to appear for. So this makes up the uh, you know selection procedure with the available information so far. If they put up any new information about the selection procedure, about the how the interview is going to be like or any changes in the written exam. Why I'm saying change in the written exam? Because earlier they had posted another PDF which had three hour duration test, which had even more number of subjects for MS by research. And also I want to say here in that PDF, don't get confused. They have mentioned it for MS by research as well as for the PhD. So you don't have to look for the PhD unless you are appearing for the PhD written test also. I'm talking only specific to the MS by research. 
Also, I'm going to put up the links in the description box. You are very much likely to follow that. So that's it in this video. The details about the program, the crux of the program have been given. If any change comes, if any new update comes on the website, I'm definitely going to come back again and going to let you know about that. Uh, I would say that prepare hard for this exam because this is not going to be an easy question paper. Also, uh, keep following the website of the C Minds and the admission page of IIT Bombay MTech Admissions and MSPI Research Admission so that if they notify you with anything new, any changes, you can just get to know about that. I would come up again in the next video with a new information and any questions that are followed from this video, you are very much likely to put them in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. See you once again. Till then, bye-bye.